These are something you should not be buying. These are almost a complete waste of your time unless you know the very few that are worth money. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about something you shouldn't buy, something you shouldn't waste your money on for the most part. Today we're going to talk about postcard folders. Now, I see people buying these all the time and assume that they're going to carry a value. Most of these won't even be worth a dollar if you try to sell them. Now, what a postcard folder is, is just that. It's a folder with what looks like postcards, but all they are are photos. These are not postcards, they cannot be mailed. This can only be mailed as one unit. There's a ton of these for many different things. I do end up with some of them when I buy them in lots, but 99.999999% of these will be a waste of your time. There are a few that may be worth a little more than other ones. Once in a while I find one that's military, and we're gonna show you some examples and talk about them a little more in depth. Now this one's a military fort. These sorts can go for some decent money. This is one of the very few types, these military types from the 1920s or before, that I have ever sold for any decent money. The most I have ever sold any, any folder like this in my entire life was just under 50 bucks. And that was a rare occasion. I almost never list these at all. It's just not worth your time. Let's hop over and look at some and show you the few that are collectible now. So we're in my hub here on Terra Peak doing some research and I've looked up the word folder because that's what these are called. These are called folders and I am only in the postcard section. Now you'll see some really high priced ones but they are extremely rare and there's only a very few that sell for anything. As soon as you get down past the first couple it's big lots of them. 150 different ones only sold for 350 bucks. It's only a couple dollars a piece. Big, huge lots, 990 different ones, all different of these folders, only sold for about $500. It's like 50 cents a piece. You can look through here. Other ones that are selling for high price are selling for other reasons like an autograph or an advertising one for some sports related event or something. Some of the foreign ones may do okay if they are very specific types like military only. Something along that line are about the only ones that go for decent money. Rarity, here's a leather one, a mini leather folder. Other than these very few scant ones, you're not going to do well on any of these folders, and I would highly recommend staying away from almost every single one of these. The only time I ever mess with any of them is if they come in a huge lot and I'm stuck with them. So here's an example of what you'll usually find. Big, huge lots like this. People are buying these assuming they can make some money just like postcards. You're going to lose if you do that. This whole lot just barely went for over 100 bucks as it is. So most of these you will not even get a dollar for if you try to sell them, even if you sell them in a lot. Now there are some other ones that are worth some decent money and they're Disney related. Now I'm in the Disneyana section here looking for folder postcards and that is it. That's all I'm looking for now. The highest price one on eBay for the entire year was a Disneyland one, a very scarce one. Disneyland are the only other ones besides a few scant military or propaganda ones that will garner you any type of money. As you see, some of these, even the scarcest Disney ones, average-wise, only go for about 50 bucks. Again, that is the highest I have ever sold any of these in more than 25 years of reselling. So if you don't have some really rare one from some special event like a flood right here, a military base, World War I Army Hospital or something like that, it's just not going to be worth much money. This is basically damage from a flood. So this is something that you won't see many of as well. So it has to be something limited, something that most people probably wouldn't have laying around anymore. And the vast majority of every single one you find is going to be mass produced and not collected. It doesn't fit in the album when you're displaying postcards. It's not a postcard at all either. It's an open up like a, a tourist item in general. That's all these are. So even the best Texas one out of all the entire net 
It only sold for 30 bucks. Now, there are some other ones. This one's tied to The Wizard of Oz, and that is the only reason this is worth any money. It's not official. It's not licensed, as you can see here. It still went for 25 bucks. All of the Land of Oz ones, it's one of the very few exceptions, usually go for 20 25 bucks. It's one of the very few ones that I look for besides Disney or a military base. Now here's just another example of the Land of Oz. Again, this is a very specific park. It's designed to look like you're actually in the Wizard of Oz. Kind of corny characters, cheaply done, but still, this is highly collected. This one went for 28 bucks. They have a couple more left as well. Now, the only other type similar to this would be from some amusement parks, Cedar Point around here. Some of those can go for maybe 10, maybe 15 bucks at max. Six Flags of Austin or something like that. If the amusement park does not exist, it was a big one back in the day. It was a neat local one that advertised all over the place. There is a potential that it could be worth maybe 10 or 15 bucks at best. Water parks can do okay. SeaWorld, I've sold some SeaWorld probably from the 60s, 70s, and even into the 80s and gotten 8 to say maybe 12 bucks. None of them go for a fortune. Just like I said, 50 bucks has always been the max I've ever been able to garnish out of any of these sorts, regardless, even if they are an amusement park. And as I said, military forts are one of the only other aspects I do look for. Now, in most cases, California postcards, actual postcards, can go for some good money, but that doesn't correspond with folders. Most California folders that you will find are extremely mass produced. This is, again, a different story. Most people aren't rushing out to buy a World War II folder for a base. This isn't something most people would collect unless they were in the military or sending them to a son or a wife or something like that. They still only went for 25 bucks. Who knows what somebody had to pay for this as well. These are never worth more than, say, 50 bucks, except one of those rare and scant ones that we showed you. As I said, Disney can sell as well. Any Haunted Mansion one you get like this or any of the other designs will get you 20, 25 bucks. Again, this is a highly collected one, but they made millions of them. Keep that in mind. This is a later one. This is 60s or so, most of these as well. It's got a 25 cent cost to mail this. Now, there are a wide variety of Disney folders as well. Most of them also won't go for a fortune. This is four different decent ones here that only sold for 35 bucks. So on each aspect of them, they're not selling for even 10 bucks, even these nicer, scarcer ones. These are fairly scarce, all of these, but again, they made so many of them, there's still a lot floating around, and most people collect the postcards and not the folders. Hence, the value is still fairly low with these. Even though they're Disney, even though they're the top of the line, they're still only selling for six, seven, eight bucks at best. And just one more example here. Now, the ones with the castle on it do extremely well if it's an original one from the opening few years. And this is one of the very first folders like this that were ever released. This is Disneyland. This is an advertisement showing you Disneyland for the first time for most people. That's why this one does sell for okay money, 20 to 30 bucks on average. But these are about it. Most any other one out there, I would not recommend buying because they are a waste of time. Now, one more aspect on these. The people who are buying these, the Disney ones, are not buying them because they are a folder. They are buying them because it's a vintage Disney item that advertises Disney. Most of the Disney ones that are sold are not sold because they are collectors of Disney postcards or folders. Again, it's an advertising piece. It's vintage. It's original. It's unique. It's early. It's from the opening few years like this one here. And that's the reason they're buying it, not because it's a postcard folder. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
the secret they brought back for you is incredible. The Pressman Witch Doctor Head Shrinkers Kit. Plastic flesh, mixing cauldron and petrifying potion. Just pour it into the mold and in minutes you can add monster hair. Paint it with a coloring kit included or make up your own decorations. In 24 hours, the heads shrink, shrink down. Now, shrunken heads for all occasions. Collect them, swap them, give them to your witch doctor friends. You can always cook up more with Pressman's Witch Doctor Head Shrinkers Kit.